Channel 98.9 FM, this is Silvis, and on the line with me today from State College, Pennsylvania, is indie musician and filmmaker Mara Katria. Hi, Mara. Hi, Brian. It is amazing to be here. Great. Well, I'm glad you could join us. Mara had reached out to us, and uh, it's about her new original single being released today, as a matter of fact, called Midnight Mine. We're going to get to that song here in just a few moments, but what we want to do first, so that our listeners can get a a sense of what you do musically, we're going to play a track called Mountain Stone. This is from uh, Mara's past work in films and video games. Why don't you set it up for us, Mara? Uh, Tell us a little bit about the film, the score, and uh, the song. Absolutely. My past with filmmaking and video game score work is something that I'm passionate about. I love fantasy, as your past guests, Slim and Red, do. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And uh, Mountain Stone has a feel of an ethereal nature that hopes to set up an experience for somebody that is working into their quest and uh, getting into the cerebral nature of that kind of art. So have you done plenty of these? I mean, you have other uh, scores that you've worked on? Oh, absolutely. Uh, With Et and R.K. Ego, that's for the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, a Mm -hmm. mod, and it's an in-depth quest that has all kinds of beautiful music and sound effects. Not all of it by me, but it's all managed by me. I'm the project leader and director. And then for Please Talk With Me, which is about a true story of a haunting that happened not too far from here. And again, that's so experiential. It's so emotional that the music plays a huge role. And I'm very honored to have been such a big part of bringing that to fruition for people. Uh, so where did that film take place? The One of the premieres was actually in Erie, Pennsylvania itself. The actual haunting happened at a college called Geneseo, SUNY Geneseo. Mm-hmm. So it's in western New York, but yep. it's only, I think, two and a half hours, maybe three hours away from here. Yep. And it's become a legendary site for people to go and, and look at and see about paranormal things and experience those questions of the universe. And the guys who experienced it, they are Christy Cesare. He was on Travel Channel and Sci-Fi, but I knew him way back when I actually introduced the the witnesses to the world. I was very honored that Uh I was the first one and our production team that they told their story to and J. Jeff Ongar, who wrote the journal notes. All right, let's give Mountain Stone a listen. Here we go. I felt better yesterday. Some yesterday, climbing over a rock on a mountain, over a cloud in the heavens, flown. I felt better yesterday. Some yesterday. When I could feel better, sliding in a hole in a chasm, but I felt better yesterday. I can see more today. I can see see clear today, climbing over a rock. On a mountain, flying over a cloud in the heavens, I can see more, but I felt better yesterday, I can feel better today, someday. All right, that's Mountain Stone from Mara Katria. Mara's on the phone with us right now from State College, Pennsylvania. Hey, Mara, why don't you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from, your background, and all of the other projects that you're involved with. Well, as you know, I am from State College, Pennsylvania. That's where I'm located here. And I actually grew up only a few hours away from here in western New York, the Hudson Valley. And I uh, I used to be a pretty weird little kid. And I suppose we all did. <laughs> Who's normal? All right. <laughs> All of us in this type of profession, we all have. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be. To have an imagination, right? Right. 
I used to use my imagination to go down by the lake where I lived. I was very lucky to live by water. And uh, I would just dream out loud and, and sing out loud. And I realized that I really loved providing an experience, not just for myself, but for my imagined audience, which has turned into a real audience over time. I did gymnastics when I was a kid, and I remember making my coaches very angry because instead of sticking with the routine on the floor, I would improvise and start <laughs> doing things that felt right with the music. Okay. Uh, you know, to grab the audience. Right. And uh, I, I ended up being too tall for that sport. You have to be a, a petite powerhouse for that. And I'm a little, I'm a little on the lanky side for that kind of <laughs> sport. So I went into acting and performing after that, which was a decent fit. I ended up actually doing more directing than I did acting. I did Shakespeare and things like that. I loved mm -hmm. it. But I really like to craft the whole story for people. And so after I worked with theater for a while, that naturally transitioned into what we were talking about earlier with Mountain Stone, which is the video game programming. I did the AI mm -hmm. for the behaviors mm -hmm. of the characters and the world building. Building. And the natural connection was really with the voiceovers and the score work. And getting connected back into music like that for me was like a homecoming. It was a beautiful dream come true to be able to literally immerse people into a world and, and help them experience the sound and the texture of the light around them and the adventure of it. And I felt like magic was real. I know that sounds kind of silly, but it felt like we didn't necessarily embrace that in the everyday, that if you're in the everyday, then, you know, magic is sort of a, a side character. It's a book you read. It's, it's a movie you experience. But I felt mm -hmm. like I could bring that to people in a real way. And again, I was asked a project lead for that, worked with great people. And so they asked me to direct film for them. After that, a, a producer that I worked with, Mr. William Edwards, he uh, asked me to direct the film Please Talk With Me, which is about uh, an extreme haunting that happened in uh, just, again, a couple of hours from here at a college in 1985. And these young kids actually experienced something that changed their world. And I remember reading these journal notes that were taken down at the time. And I was so moved to think that these young people had to go through something, whether you believe in hauntings or not, doesn't matter. It's something that changes your paradigm, just like perhaps losing a job or finding about the illness of a loved one or somebody goes off to the military. It just changes your perspective on life completely. And I really loved the idea of exploring what we do in those moments when we discover ourselves, when we're faced with those kind of hard decisions and again with the music in that film please talk with me I really wanted to reach out to people's emotional selves their true selves and again not magic in a silly sense but in that sort of heart sense that that inside mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. visceral feeling what do you feel you know and there's no wrong answer to that question there's so many answers to what do you do do you turn to science do you turn to a friend do you turn away from religion do you you turn to religion. All of these things are correct answers. Nothing's wrong. And I met up with some great musicians when I was working on Please Talk With Me. Burning Bridget Cleary is a wonderful regional Pennsylvania uh, band. They do high-powered folk and Celtic and things like that. And they did some music for the film. And Vance Gilbert's also regional. Wonder these They're worldwide, but they're based regional, and I love that. We're talking with indie musician and filmmaker Mara Katria, and Mara has a new single that's debuting today, Midnight Mind, and we're going to play that for you in just a moment. Who would you say have influenced you at, up to this point? A uh, big hero of mine is Annie Lennox and uh, Peter Gabriel. Mm -hmm. People that not only are sort of genius in their ability to create music, Trevor Horn, Midge Ur from Ultravox, but they also are very uh, altruistic in giving back to community and working for charities and things like that. I just, I my hat's off to them. They, I'm so glad to have their inspiration to know that they exist and they kind of give me hope in the world. And as artists, man, I love their sounds. You mm -hmm. too. Let's talk about um, the future. Tell folks where they can see you, check you out. And uh, you can mention, uh, you know, where they can find you online too, social media, those sorts of things. I, uh, after the film, I connected with J. Jeff Ongar, who wrote the haunting journal notes. And over the years, we became colleagues, friends. And just a couple of years ago, we got married. And uh, he is my best friend. He's my creative partner at this point. And when I was learning about his character 
for the movie, my friend and great talent, Christy Cesare, told me, well, he's my best friend for so many years. If you want to know about J. Jeff Ungar to portray his character properly, I want you to do two things. I want you to read Pride and Prejudice and think about the character of Darcy, Mr. Darcy, Lord Darcy. And I want you to listen to the song I Melt With You by Modern English. And then you'll know everything you need to know about J. Jeff Ungar. And about two years ago, Jeff and I are married now. I studied his character. It all worked out beautifully. And uh, he says to me, Mara, Modern English are creating a new album. It's the original lineup for the first time in decades. I think you should help them make their album. And I have chills talking about it right now. And I did at the time. It's like, wow, you... You think big, Jeff. That's that's a pretty incredible thought. He's like, I think if we help them out, maybe we can do some original songs together. Wow. And so we did reach out, yes, yes, to the manager uh, of Modern English and then directly to Modern English. And so I ended up being a helper on their Take Me to the Trees album, which just came out last year. So anybody who loves alternative and new wave and new romantics music should and post-punk mm-hmm. should check out their album, Take Me to the Trees. Well, most but of our listeners result, do because that's what we play. <laughs> you know, it couldn't be more perfect. Uh, it gives me chills. Oh, Brian. <laughs> and uh, ended up having the honor to be creating five original songs with my friends now and heroes, Modern English. And I wrote all of these. They are using inspiration from Jeff's, what he calls his basement tapes from 1985. So I sample some of his original keyboard uh, stuff on his old Roland and his old old Korg and stuff like that. So I sampled some of his stuff, but I wrote it. And Modern English is co-writing and performing it with me, an original EP, and we're calling it Modern M. So it's Midnight Mind is my song right now today. And that you know, yeah. is is my love. But wow. I am so excited for Modern M with Modern English, and that's coming out this summer. Wow. Well, that is awesome. Modern they English. They are so brilliant, and they are so kind. Michael Conroy, the bassist, I work with him often, and he just, he's so awesome as a person, as an artist, and the, the whole group of guys are. Will you be performing with them at all, live anywhere, at any point? That is something that I do believe will happen after the summer. Uh, We have something planned for Pennsylvania. Jeff, again, he dreams big, so I think we might try to put together a special concert. So I think people can get pretty excited for that. Well, I hope you make it around this way. Uh, Hopefully it happens. We'd love to see you perform with Modern English. We're talking with Mara Katria. Uh, She has a song that she's debuting today, and it's called Midnight Mind. What do you say? Should we get into it? Absolutely. All right.
Channel 98.9 FM, this is Silvis, and we're talking on the phone with Mara Katria. There is her new track. It's called Midnight Mind. Great sounding song. I love that. Let us know what you think of the song. Mara, why don't you tell our listeners how they can find out more about you and uh, how they're able to get a hold of, you know, your music that's coming down the pike and uh, anything else that you might be doing. What an honor uh, to be on Channel 98.9. I would love if people, first of all, find me on Facebook. Just tell me you're coming from Channel 98.9 or that Brian sent you. I would love to be your friend. But, of course, I have a, a regular old official website. That's maracatria.com, M-A-R-A-K-A-T-R-I-A. And uh, there will be order links for a really cool collector's edition with a double DVD set with the music video that just won some awards film festivals and the cd and of course people can get the song for free by streaming it on itunes or amazon and things like that and my youtube and my instagram and my facebook they're all the same it's all mara katria so find me and be friends with me don't be my follower be my friend (laughs) i really prefer that (laughs) and i just thank you to the listeners thank you to Channel 98.9. Thank you to you, Brian Silvis. This you is got amazing. it. Yep. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Mara. Um, again, the new song is Midnight Mine, and uh, hopefully we can get together again sometime real soon. Thank you.